to build a raw resource transfer station, we go into the build menu and if we come in the build menu to the facilities category, we can see that if we hover over the resource transfer station, we need 35 construction materials and a construction vehicle. We have a construction vehicle and in it are enough construction materials. So we left click the resource transfer station that will put the blueprint under the mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation of the building. On the right side of the building is a large collection area where the raw resources will be stored. On the left side is the loading dock where we can load up raw resource containers to ship things in and out of the raw resource transfer station. So once we're happy with the location and the rotation, we left click and then drive up to the blueprint and hold down the left mouse button to build the transfer station. To transfer raw resources into the raw resource transfer station, we can come up to the facility with raw resources in our backpack till we see in the bottom left, press E to use resource transfer station. If we press E, we get the menu for the facility. On the left side of that menu, we can see the inventory of the resource transfer station and the inventory of our backpack. On the right side, we can see the stockpile of the transfer station. And in the bottom right, we can see the actions panel. If we look in the stockpile, we can see that we can store a maximum of 12,000 raw resources. This can be any combination of the resources displayed in the stockpile. So that is coal, coal cokes, salvage, sulfur and components. If we now want to put our raw resources into the stockpile, we can simply go right click on one of the resources and say submit all to stockpile that will put all the raw resources that were in our backpack in the stockpile. Another way of doing that is with a logi truck. You drive the logi truck up till you're close enough till it says press E to use resource transfer station. You press E and the same procedure. You right click on the raw resources and you say submit all to stockpile and that will pull the entire truck empty. We can also use raw resource containers for that. We need to drive our flatbed with the raw resource container close to the transfer station. We hop into the crane by pressing Q, hold down the right mouse button to aim the crane at the container. We then left click to hoist it up. And if we aim at the loading dock of the raw resource transfer station, we can see that it shows us the connection icon. We then left click to drop the container on the loading dock. As soon as the container hits the loading dock, it will automatically open the menu for the facility. And again, the same procedure. We right click on the raw resource and say submit all to stockpile and that will put them all in the stockpile. We can do the reverse. We can open the resource transfer station and with the resource container here, we can shift click on the raw resources in the transfer station and that will bring it from the stockpile into the resource container. When we have all the raw resources we wanted into this container, we come to the actions panel and hit the package loading area equipment that will start packaging our resource container. We then hold the right mouse button to aim our crane till we have the connection icon. We then left click to hoist it up. Hold right click to aim at the back of our flatbed and left click to drop it off. Hop out of the crane and now we can hop into our flat pipe by pressing Q and drive off. The last way of transferring raw resources into the raw resource transfer station is with a train with a mine cart. If we come close to it, we can see in the bottom left, it says press E to use resource transfer station. We press E and in the left bottom side, we can see that we have a panel that shows us the inventory of our locomotive of our mining car cart that is attached to it and the flatbed cart that is also attached to it. The only card with raw resources is the mining card. So we go to the inventory of the mining cart, 
right click on one of the raw resources and say submit all to stockpile and that will pull the entire mining card empty into the stockpile of the resource transfer station. The reverse obviously works here as well. So if you want to grab the components, we can shift click on the components and that will start assembling the components from the stockpile into the mining cart. If you're happy, you can either press E or escape to get out of the menu and drive away. To build a material transfer station, we go into the build menu and we come to the facilities category. If we hover over the material transfer station, we can see that we need 35 construction materials and a construction vehicle. We already have a construction vehicle that has enough construction materials in its inventory. So we can click the material transfer station. This will put the blueprint of the material transfer station underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation of the building. On the right side, we can see the platform where the materials will be stored. On the left side is a loading dock where you can fill pallets with the materials that are in the material transfer station or the other way around from the pallet into the material transfer station. If we're happy with the location and the orientation of the material transfer station, we can left click. This will put down the blueprint. We then drive up to it and hold down the left mouse button to build the facility. The material transfer station stores things like the construction materials, assembly materials, pipes, metal beams, sandbags, barbed wire, explosive rockets, fire rockets, flame ammo, and all kinds of artillery ammo, tripods and tripod weapons, and the 250 millimeter spigot mortar. The stockpile of a material transfer station has a maximum storage capacity of a thousand items. This can be any combination of items that are allowed into the stockpile. To store materials in the material transfer station, when you're on foot, you come close to the material transfer station till it says press E to use material transfer station. We come to the actions panel and say submit large item. That will put the metal beam that we were carrying into the stockpile. Another way of getting materials into the material transfer station is coming with a flatbed with a pallet full of materials to the material transfer station. You hop into the crane by pressing Q, hold the right mouse button to aim the crane at the pallet, left click to hoist it up, then right click and aim on the loading dock of the material transfer station until you see the connection icon. You then left click, this drops the pallet on the loading dock. As soon as it is on the loading dock, we can see that it opens up the menu of the material transfer station. We can see in the bottom left the inventory of our material palette. It contains 36 construction materials. If we want to put those into the stockpile of the material transfer station, we can right click and say submit all to stockpile and that will pull them all off the material palette and into the stockpile of the material transfer station. A final way of bringing materials to a material transfer station is with a train with a flatbed that has materials on it. We come close to the material transfer station till it says press E to use material transfer station. We press E. In the bottom left, we can see the inventories of everything that is attached to our train. That is the locomotive, our mine cart and our flatbed cart. Our flatbed cart currently is carrying assembly materials type one. If we want to put those into the stockpile, we right click and go submit all to transfer station. We can do the reverse and load up our flatbed cart. To do that, we shift click, for instance, on the construction materials, and that will start assembling 30 construction materials onto our flatbed. The flatbed mining cart can only hold one type of material. So if we try to assemble assembly material type one into our flatbed cart, we can see that it says can only store one item type. If we want to put materials on our material pallet, we have to package the material pallet first so we can hoist it up with the crane and drop it back on the loading dock. That 
will give us the menu where we have both inventories. So we come to the crane, hoist up, depallet, put it back down. And now if it opens up the menu of the material transfer station, we can see we have the inventory of the material pallet and the stockpile of the material transfer station. The pallet is the same as the flatbed mining cart that it only holds one type of material. So we can assemble 30 construction materials into the material pallet. But if we try to bring the metal beam in as well, it says can only store one item type. We have all the materials we want on the material pallet. We come to the actions panel and click the package loading area equipment. This will start packaging the pallet. Once it is done packaging, we hold the right mouse button in the crane till we get the connection icon. We left click to hoist up the material pallet, put it on the back of our flatbed truck, hop out of the crane and drive off. When we want to build a liquid transfer station, we press a B to open the build menu and we come to the facilities category. In the facilities category, if we hover over the liquid transfer station, we see that we need 35 construction materials and a construction vehicle. We already have a construction vehicle that contains the necessary construction materials. So if we want to place it, we uh, left click on the liquid transfer station icon. This will put the blueprint for the liquid transfer station underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down our right mouse button, we can change the orientation of the liquid transfer station. If we now look at the right side of the liquid transfer station, we can see two arrows and two connections for pipe systems. Those arrows indicate a inlet and an outlet that can be used to pump liquids into the liquid transfer station through a pipeline and to pump liquids out of the liquid transfer station through a pipeline. On the right side of the building, we can see the loading dock and that loading dock can be used to transfer liquids in and from a static liquid container. When we are happy with the orientation and location of our liquid transfer station, we simply left click that will put down our blueprint. We drive up our CV and hold down the left mouse button to build the liquid transfer station. A liquid transfer station can store either water, diesel, heavy oil, enriched oil, oil or petrol. The maximum amount of liquid containers it can hold is a 400. We can transfer liquids into the stockpile of the liquid transfer station by right clicking on the diesel in our backpack and left clicking on submit all to stockpile that will only store a one jerry can of diesel that is because the other jerry can of diesel is not full so it will only store full liquid containers if we now try to also submit the oil we can see that if we go a right click and left click on submit all to stockpile that it only stores a one item type Another way of transferring liquids into a liquid transfer station is with the help of a tanker truck. For that, we come close to the liquid transfer station and press E to open its menu. We then right click on the diesel that is in our fuel truck and a left click on submit all to stockpile that will transfer all the diesel over from our fuel truck into the stockpile. We can also use a static liquid container. For that, you bring your static liquid container with the liquids you want to store on a flatbed to your liquid transfer station. You make sure you have a crane nearby. You press Q to hop in the crane. You hold down a right mouse button to aim at the static liquid container. As soon as it is ready to connect, we can see the connection icon. We then left click to hoist it up. We right click to aim on the loading dock of the liquid transfer station. And as soon as we're close to it, we can see that we get one gear icon with an arrow that points us to the direction of where the connection point is. As soon as we reach the connection point, we can see the connection icon. We then left click to put the static liquid container on the loading dock. As soon as it's on the loading dock, it will open up the menu of the liquid transfer station. 
and to bring over the diesel that is in our static liquid container we can right click on the diesel in there and say submit all to stockpile this will put all the diesel in the stockpile we can do the reverse and start a shift clicking on the diesel. If we shift click on the diesel icon in the stockpile, it will start assembling a three jerry cans of diesel into our fuel container. Once we have the amount of fuel we wanted into our static liquid container, we can come to the actions panel and say package loading area equipment. As soon as we click that button, it will start packaging the static liquid container so we can pick it up with our crane. Of course, we can also retrieve a liquids from a liquid transfer station with a fuel truck or a normal truck. For that, you drive your truck up to the liquid transfer station. Press E to open its menu and the same procedure. You shift click and that will start assembling three jerry cans of diesel into the inventory of the fuel truck. Another way of getting liquids into the liquid transfer station is with the help of a, a pipeline. For that, you need a pipe equipped and you press a B to open the build menu. You come to the facilities category and you select the pipeline. If you select pipeline, you get the blueprint for the pipeline underneath your mouse cursor. You can hold down the right mouse button and change the orientation of the pipeline. If you bring it close to the connection point of the liquid transfer station, it will snap to it. And if you're sure you want to connect to the liquid transfer station, you can uh, left click. It's, this will start dragging out the pipeline from the liquid transfer station. And if you hold down the right mouse button, you can change the orientation at the end of the pipeline. Now, if you make a pipeline to a oil well that has the electric oil well upgrade, you can have oil being pumped straight into the liquid transfer station. If you want to pump in petrol, you can connect it to a oil refinery that is producing petrol. You can do the same thing with enriched oil and heavy oil, and you can attach it to a water pump that has the electric water pump upgrade, and then it will pump the liquid transfer station full of water. To place your pipeline, you uh, left click, that will put down the blueprint. You walk up to it with the pipe over your shoulder and you left click. This will submit the pipe to the pipeline and will finalize the pipe. Another way of transferring out liquids from our liquid transfer station is to use the output pipe with a pipeline. For that, we need a pipe on our person. We press a B to open the build menu. If we go to the facilities category and select the pipeline, if we bring it close to the output point of the liquid transfer station, we can see that it snaps to the output point. If we left click, we start dragging out a pipeline and since we currently have a diesel in our liquid transfer station and we have a diesel power plant over here if we connect pipe from the output point of the liquid transfer station to the input point of the diesel power station we can transfer the diesel from our liquid transfer station to the diesel power plant. To do that, we make sure that it connects to the input point for the diesel power plant. If we left click, we get a blueprint. We will up to it with the pipe over our shoulder and left click. This will submit the pipe into the blueprint. And if we now open up the power plant, we can see that diesel is flowing from our liquid transfer station to the stockpile of the diesel power plant. All transfer stations can be squad locked. If you squad lock a transfer station, only members of your squad will be able to retrieve and uh, submit items to the stockpile of the transfer station. To do that, we come to the transfer station. We press E to open up the menu and we come to the actions panel. In the actions panel, in the middle are the buttons for squad locking. One is reserved for squad. This will let us select from the list of squads that we are a member of. Or we can just click the reserve for active squad and that will reserve the transfer station for 52 hours for my active squad. 
If you decide to open up your transfer station to the public again, you can press E to open the menu of the transfer station, come to the actions panel and click the remove reservation button. If you want to make sure that your reservation is updated and has a length of 52 hours, you can always click the refresh reservations button and this will refresh your reservation on the transfer station to 52 hours.